All right, in this ROS2 tutorial, I will show you how to create your own node that uses parameters by creating your own package. I will then show you how to change the parameters from the terminal and also from a launch file. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision. So subscribe to learn more. Check out my playlist on computer vision using AI, OpenCV in Python, ROS2, Git, Python, C++, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and here's my GitHub that follows along with it. So first off, let's create our package. We want to first go to our workspace, so CD uh, ROS2 workspace, and then our source. Then we're going to build our package using the ROS2 package command. We're going to call it the CPP parameters, and then we're going to add the dependencies RCLCPP. So let's go ahead and build that. And you can see here we have created our parameters uh, package here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create the param node. Uh, we have the files already created for us. If you check out my um, folder here in Git. So here we have our CPP parameters node. So if we take a look at this file, uh, what we're going to see the structure of this code we see that you know we have a minimal param here that has inherited from uh, derived from this node class, and here we have the minimal param node with the name of our node, and then here we're gonna declare our parameters called my parameter, and by default it's gonna be world. Then we're gonna have a callback here, um, create wall timer. So this is the time period it's gonna keep outputting our output. So here we have the timer callback function as part of our node. So inside of here, it's going to always see if we are giving a parameter. And if we are, it's going to update what my parameter is. Otherwise, it's just going to say hello and the default parameter, which is world here. OK, so here we have the shared um, timer here as our, our shared pointer here as our um, variable timer that was being used and that's the only private variable that we're using and then in our main function what we have here is a typical structure of um, a ROS uh, node function our CPP file is you're gonna init spin and then shut down so inside our spin we have a make shared of our minimal param class and then that will get everything up and running okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that over and move it into our source folder in our CPP parameters. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this. So I'm gonna copy, and then if I go into here, the source, I'm gonna paste it, okay? And if you guys need some reference on C++, I have things on classes, vectors, inheritance, function pointers, and shared pointers for you to check out. Okay, so next step is we want to update our cmakelist.txt, our txt file. So go ahead and take a look at that. So here inside our file, we have our cmakelist. So by default, this is generated. We're going to add some new things. So the things we're adding is this part here. We have to add executable. So this will give us our um, ability to run our node and then install targets, the minimum minimal param node. And this is our destination inside lib and our project name. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and copy this over. And we're just gonna, actually I'll just copy the content and then we'll go ahead and modify the CPP parameters here. So this part we're gonna add later. Uh, but for now, we're gonna just modify our CMake list and then we could build with Colkin. So here, what we're going to do is just go back to our ROS workspace, and then we're going to do Colkin uh, build packages select, and then our CPP parameters. So if I go ahead and do that, we should be able to build it. So here, we're going to change the parameter in the terminal. So for that, we're going to go ahead and 
we go to our work workspace and then we want to do our typical source and then install our setup.bash. And then we're gonna do ROS2 run and then CPP parameters. Um, parameters, you're gonna tap complete and then the minimal param node. And once this is up and running, you're gonna see it says hello world. And now what we can do is modify the parameter in the other terminal. So we're gonna CD to um, our ROS workspace and then we're gonna source install setup.bash. And then after we source it, we're gonna go ahead and first off, we could check out our param list. So we could do ROS2 param list. So we can see that these are our parameters. And then after that, we could modify the parameter. So we could do ROS2 param. Uh, let me first clear this so you can see better. So we could do ROS2 param set and then the minimal param node and then my parameter. So we're going to call this earth. So what you want to do is pay attention to this part and you're going to see the world change to earth after I hit enter. So when I hit enter, you see this instance here is now earth as we expect. So the next way we're going to talk about is changing the parameter using the launch file. So what we did is we're going to go ahead and move our CPP parameters launch.py to the launch folder. So here there's no launch folder yet. So we could go ahead and create our launch folder. So here we're going to um, we're going to call this launch. And then we're going to take a look at our file here. So we have our this file here, CPP parameter launch. We're going to copy this. And we're going to go ahead and put it inside this launch folder. And then copy over. Let me try it one more time. So I'm going to copy the launch. OK, so this here is our launch file. And you can see what this does is we import some of the things from launch. And then here we have a function called generate launch description. And it's going to return a launch description, which is a node. So we specify the package, the executable, the name, the output, and then emulate TTY to true. And then our parameters, which is the new parameter that we're updating, which is earth. OK, so that's what we have in place. And then after we do that, we want to update our cmakelist.txt. So this part, the part that we added for the launch, we could now uncomment out. Okay, so after we make all the changes, we could go ahead and rebuild the package. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and run the step again to build it. So this will make all of our changes up to date so that when we call the function again, it's going to use the latest code that we have generated. So then here, we're going to go ahead and source it again. OK, and then after we source it, we could go ahead and um, we're going to run the launch file now. So uh, we could go ahead and do ROS2 launch uh, CPP parameters. Autocomplete seems to be kind of slow, so I'm just going to type it out. And then CPP parameters launch.py. So if I enter this, what you're going to notice is that the first instance here is Earth, which is what we expected. And then all the other instances is going to say world. Okay, so that's how you could do it using a launch file. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about parameter packages in Python. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.